But now the field about to turn its way out of La Source, the crowd strike, 24 hours of Spa. The centenary edition, the biggest, the best GT3 race in the world is about to get underway. The field accelerates towards the line, the command will be given, the lights will change. We go racing, Lamborghini leads as Front Pereira heads the pack downhill for the first time towards Arouge. It is Lucas Auer who will go second and third, Alessio Rivera so far so good as they squeeze their way through Arouge. Uphill for the first time, look down from the drone, it's a dry track, it is a fast track and Front Pereira leads. Yeah, he got the advantage of starting in pull position, Lucas Auer was sort of swamped by Alessio Rivera in the Ferrari but up the hill and the Mercedes has now found herself back up into second place, so let's see what's going to happen. Getting through Le Coombe on the opening lap, it's always, always very busy, cars to the left of you, cars to the right of you, and on the story goes. Through Le Combe they come then, and as the field wriggles its way, uh, down towards Brussels, everybody edging left and right, looking for clear track space, but Front Pereira has the best seat in the house, and he is trying to pull away now as the cars accelerate for the first time through Speaker's Corner, the Jackie X Corner as it now is, uh, and down towards Pouin. The BMWs on the prowl, but Lamborghini trying to edge clear up front. Lucas Al going with him. You're on board here in number two. That is the Lucas Stoltz driven Mercedes that he shares with Jules Gunon and Fabian Schiller, and then they will power their way up towards the Piff Pan for the first time. Well, very happy to say that everybody's made it happy around the first lap, and we don't appear to have any contact of any consequence. There may have been a bit of hip and shoulder, but certainly everybody on track and a pretty well disciplined start it has been. Absolutely right. So that question mark over 52 Ferrari, having said how well disciplined it was, one of the garage 59 McLarens got roughed up just a little bit there. And out of the Cour Paul Frere for the first time, the run towards Blanchiment. Speed building all the time. Zion Schengouven goes through, 96 Porsche on the prowl as well, back to the outside line, looking to try to gain ground. That car with Julian Andlauer at the wheel, side by side, Porsche and BMW together, up towards the end of the lap. This is the Porsche view. Yeah, it's very tight. BMW just got the advantage of us. Goven had to give ground. I think he did so wisely because the BMW was being hung out to dry on the outside. So just back off. They were on the opening lap. You can't win the race, but for sure as anything, you can lose it. So, Front Pereira leads at the end of the first slightly shorter lap, ahead of Lucas Auer, then Alessio Rivera. Glenn Babello is fourth, fifth over the line, Lucas Stoltz, sixth, Jim Pla. Then you've got Maxi Gertz, Vincent Abril, Arjun Maini, Marvin Kirchhofer, tenth. And look, they're still pouring their way onto the pit straight. One or two at the back have lost quite a chunk of time on that opening lap. But it is Front Pereira then now trying to build that gap as the cars make the run once more uphill. And actually, in, in relation to what we've had in the past, a very calm first lap. Uh, absolutely. I'm impressed that everybody's behaved themselves. I know it sounds easy to say. Uh, I just I thought I was seeing something from the back of the Mercedes. It's just the, the, the headlights from the Ferrari behind was causing a little distortion on the screen. So everybody, as I say, well behaved and respecting the fact that this is a long race. And they don't want to end up having a pit stop at the earliest occasion uh, and then putting themselves on the back foot. Oh, running very wide just in the exit of Le Coombe. 